hey guys it's your girl Anne, and i'm back today with another video happy new week thank you so much for tuning in today so today i am tackling my bedroom and as you can tell it is really really messy so today i'm back with some motivational deep cleaning and just um organizing and decorating my so bedroom this is what for my the room spring. currently looks like uh, looks like right now i have sorted out all of my clothes and i've already started putting um my laundry into the washing machine and washing a few loads as well as drying them so right now i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna start um swiffering all of the dust wiping down all of the surfaces and then i'm gonna go in with some um swiffer wet jet wipes and i'm going to mop the floor with that i don't really like using a lot of um hot water or water on my hardwood floors so i prefer to um just use the the wet um swiffer sheets instead to clean the floor because it doesn't really get that dirty up here it's not a lot of traffic in the upstairs area of my home but um you guys saw me use my steam mop on the kitchen floors the reason i would love to steam my hardwood floors but that particular steam mop it lets out a lot of water and i don't want a lot of water like I said, being on my floors, I don't think it's good for your hardwood floors to have so much water on it. So I probably need to purchase a new steamer that has like less, that lets out less water. And yeah, so we're going to go ahead and like I said, um, dust and clean my bed and all of the um, surfaces in my room. Never to see you again That was simply delusion Followed up with confusion That was just substitution For a lonely bed So that's impressive How much you're messing With my feelings and my heart Oh yeah Yeah that's impressive How much you're messing That I was out of my mind Thinking you were the one that it was love Feeling so strong I should've known I should've known I don't know what I was thinking Let it be more than drinking And going back to your place Never to see you again That was simply delusion Followed up with confusion That was just substitution for a lonely
wanted to refresh my bedroom but I wanted to do it on a budget and still allow myself to get that luxe look for less so I did a few DIYs I shopped my home and I reused a few things that I've had for a few years now that I didn't that I haven't used for a while so what I'm gonna do is just go in and just share with you what I repurposed and reused and um, what I shopped my home for to create a really nice luxe luxurious bed so starting with this area here and i think i mentioned to you guys that i no longer use this sorry guys i think the train is passing by um yes like i was saying before i was rudely interrupted by the train i no longer use this closet for my clothes it's now in my um office slash guest bedroom area so this closet is being used mostly for like um my beddings and different things like that but this is the um bookshelf that i used to have in my entryway downstairs and you guys know that i purchased a new entryway table and i used to have a silver shelving unit here that i got from amazon both the entryway table um are from amazon as well this is a bookshelf that I've had for a few years. I used to use it in my bedroom back at the apartment. I decided to bring it up here and get rid of the tall um, shelving unit that I had. So I'm going to show you what I added here. And I just added one of my full first stools and I'm sitting on the other one. I got both of these stools from a company called Jisk. So at the bottom, to bring in some pops of white and to just lighten up the space and give it a nice eerie transitional from spring to summer, I bought, I brought in this link chain. I got that from Amazon about two years ago. Both of these glam mirror trays I got from Amazon a few years ago and I keep perfumes in them. And then this is the catch-all dish. I didn't have anything to add here at the moment, but just to show you guys um, how I've added pops of white mixed with black and silver. I brought this little catch-all bowl that I got from Winners a few, sometime last year. Um, I decided to just add it there for now until I can find something to replace it. That way I can put this back by the um, entryway table that I have downstairs or maybe get something else for the little second shelf in unit that the entryway table has. I brought in this beautiful, um, beautifully designed um, book that I got from Amazon. It's by the um, YouTuber. Her name is Nikki Boy. She has a YouTube channel. And then I just placed this cute little um, jar that I, cute little small vase that I got from Amazon a few years ago. And this is a new purchase actually. I got this from Winners recently for $14.99. Really, really cute. Um, what is this called again? And it's designed and crafted in India. I forgot the name of it, but I'll put it up on the screen. And then above, I have another rotating. This is a rotating glam tray that I got from, I think I got this one from probably HomeSense or either Winners. I have some more perfumes. The little hand decor came from Amazon and you can style it as is or you can use it to um, put your rings on. My lamps are from home sense and i bought them a few years ago these used to be in my living room area and then i switched them over to the over to my dining room area where the credence is and i decided to bring them up here and then this is a recent purchase a few weeks ago that i got from winners i shared a tablescape that i did with you guys and then these are some olive branches that i got from amazon a while back that is a diy so guys, moving on, this cute little full for a rug came from, I don't remember guys, cause I've had it for a while. It's either Amazon, just where I got both of these full fur stools from, or I probably got it from Winners or HomeSense. I've had it for a while, so I don't remember. This mirror came from Jisk, and I purchased that a few years ago. Um, I love the white mirror, but I think I want to paint it black. 
leave me some comments down below and let me know your thoughts should i paint it black and i also need to put it up on the wall but um i need to get i need to make sure that it's secured because it is very heavy i love it because it's a body mirror and i can see my whole about my full it's a full body length mirror and i love having mirrors like these because when you're getting dressed you can see you know how your outfit looks and how cute you look um my bedroom set i've had for about 15 years or more i got it from a local furniture store here in canada it did come with a dresser and that dresser can't fit in the room if you were to go back and watch my apartment videos it is a really bulky and really big dresser this um bedroom set is great quality so it's something that i'll have for many many years until i'm old and gray because it's quality it's really 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 heavy i'm thinking about painting it i don't know but um so i decided to diy these canvases um when i first shared this bedroom with you guys or i first shared these diy canvases i had painted half of it in a silver gray and then the other half in black and then in the middle i used some mod podge and some glitter but i decided to get rid of the glitter because i don't really care for it i don't really care for the glittery um wall art like that anymore so i went ahead and i just painted everything black and i think it looks a lot better it complements my black and white aesthetic a little bit more a lot more i should say and then this one was a canvas art that i purchased from i think winners a while back it used to be in my living room i went ahead and i just diy'd it and i painted this half in some white acrylic paint and then the upper half in some black acrylic paint just to bring in a little bit more white and black in this area here and um what i love with this it, it all it has like all of these um like texture in it so i like how it looks and if you want to get texture on your um, canvas art, all you need to do, you can use like cement, you can use baking soda, you can use, um, I forget what it's called, um, molding paste. And you can create texture in your canvas art. So I think this possibly is a molding paste that they did on the original painting. So it creates a really nice texture, which looks really, really cool. And then here on my nightstand, this is the other um, lamp that I got from HomeSense. This is a tray that I've had for years. It used to be in a natural wood and then I painted it white and I added some bling to it. Um, I don't know if I'm going to keep it here. And then this is a Jack's decor that I've had for a few years. I think I got that from HomeSense. This came from Amazon. This is a... Um, I forget what this is called but you can burn like tiny incense and stuff like this in it or you can just use it as a decorative piece the candle is from winners this came from i think winners and then all of the eucalyptus greenery came from amazon these i've had for a few years and i think i got these ones from michael's so for my bed i wanted to give it sort of like this um, luxury sort of hotel vibe so I layered it the only thing that was missing from my layering process was a what's it called the thing that you cover your mattress with a mattress cover I did have one a really nice expensive quality one but when I moved to the house from the apartment the um, the guys that moved me they didn't have any extra cloth to like cover my mattress and keep it you know from getting any like dust or dirt on it because we did move here during the winter time so um i ended up just keeping my mattress pad on my mattress to protect it and it got really really dirty so i ended up throwing it out so um when you're layering your bed and you want to get that really nice luxe hotel chic look you know the process is using a mattress pad and then you put on your fitted your flat sheet and then you can go in with a nice quilt or whatever and then you can go in with your comforter and your um duvet everyone layers their bed different so you can use a comforter you can use a duvet cover a duvet cover you can put your comforter in it 
you can do whatever you want but if you want that really nice layered look hotel sort of um luxe feel for your bed you can choose those um layering processes so um this comforter and these shams came from home sense and i've had them for a while the um satin pillow covers came from amazon and these inserts these pillow inserts i got from amazon they are so comfortable they're not too not too um hard not too soft they're just perfect and fluffy and then these pillow covers with the cute little pom-poms came from amazon a few years ago and i love velvet pillow covers they just add a really nice luxe um luxurious look to any space in your home whether it's your bed your sectional or wherever i just love velvet pillow covers you can get them on get them on amazon in so many different colors and um the inserts were a thrift find from valley village i think they're either 22 inserts or what or 24 but the pillow covers are 22 and then these pillow covers I purchased a few years ago. I actually I actually purchased them with pillows in them. They came from HomeSense and I've had them for a few years and I haven't really used them in a long time. So I decided to, you know, switch it up and bring in some more um, pillow covers that have pops of white in it just to lighten up my room and give it a nice light airy feeling because as you can tell my furniture is really bulky and then this is another black velvet pillow cover that I also got from Amazon like I said I love velvet pillow covers they add a really nice luxurious look to your space and they're very great quality and you can find them in all different price ranges on Amazon um, this is a throw blanket that I think I purchased at Amazon. This is a rotating, another rotating tray that I got from, I think, HomeSense. This came from Amazon. That's just a DIY vase. And then these flowers, those came from Michael, Michael's. And that is pretty much how I refreshed my bed. Oh, my bed is a queen size bed. That is pretty much how I refreshed my room for the spring. I do want to get new curtains. There's so much things that I want to add to the room. I want to add like a nice chandelier, but I haven't been able to get my friend who changes out my who changes out my light fixtures for me, for me to come out. So I'm still waiting. I want to add a really nice black and silver um chandelier to this light fixture and change it out and i saw some really really cute ones on amazon that are um in different price range so yeah that is what i've done in my room for the spring to refresh it um you guys know i love black and white and i have so many different um black and white pillow covers so it gives me a lot of um options when it comes to switching out my pillow covers and I wanted to refresh my room, like I said, on a budget without having to really go out or order anything online to do so. So I just shopped my home and used everything I have. And I really love how my pillow covers and how my bedding looks. It really lightens up the space and everything just works really well and complements each other really, really nicely. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for tuning in today. If you are new and watching for the first time, welcome, welcome, welcome to all of my returning family members. Welcome back and thank you so much for all of your love and support. Um, I hope this video gives you some cleaning motivation, some decorating um, inspiration for your own spring decorating or refreshing, you know, your principal bedroom or a guest bedroom in your space. Um... Yeah, thank you so much for tuning in today. Have a beautiful and blessed day. And that is all I have for you today. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Finally don't get no Finally be riding on my way Finally woke up with some luck in the book I don't give up what someone, someone say Finally got my friends in the back of my roller We gon' make it big one day We gon' make it big, I say We gon' make it big, just stay in there